What's up everybody? It's uh, Pokey Logan here with another video. I'm going to be playing Standard today with the Quad Zoroark deck that I uh, made a profile video for a few uh, few minutes ago. I'm going to upload them at the same time, but I'm doing them both in the same night. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I know there's a lot of people that like Standard, a lot of people that like Expanded. Um, also, it might shut down on me, so I might have to do a couple different videos kind of clipped together. But I'm going to try my best. So, we're going up against Superman 11077. He didn't get a mulligan, so I'm not sure what he's playing. He's got Fire, so that's actually pretty good. He might be playing a Volcanion deck, or he might be playing a Team Magma or something. Hey, shame and start. Okay, that's not very good. But we got a Trainer's Mail, we got a Sycamore, we got a DC. We'll be okay. Okay, so we got Flareon. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a Fury Belt onto this guy. Hopefully, I can get an Ultra Ball off of this guy. Nope, just Sycamore. Okay, so I'll probably put a DCE on this guy and then, um, and then set up and then Sycamore. So set up two. Yeah, Flareon, um, EX, even in, uh, even an expanded and standard is, is pretty is pretty good. I mean, I, my guess is that he's pairing it with a uh, with Volcanion. Okay, so one Zoro is prized. Uh, one Zoro arc is prized. Uh, we just ditched. Two, we have two sick one Sycamore and discard one in hand. Uh, one Lysander is prized. Six. Seven, eight, nine, three darker prized. So that those are I'm pretty sure those are our prizes. Via so okay. So via seeker, three dark, um, Lysander, and a Zoroark. That's really not that bad. Um, the dark energy though for acceleration is gonna need to be really, really good. Like that's the only reason we have the max elixirs is to try and accelerate that energy. So if we can't accelerate it, um, we're gonna have a bad time. But um, I'm just going to Sycamore here, see what I get. Um, okay, cool. So I got a Zorark to evolve the next turn. Maybe we can get another Ultra Ball at this guy. Uh, ah, Pokepuff. I'll try I'll try my hand out of turn on Pokepuff. Um, see if maybe they have a couple Shamans or one Shaman in their hand that they just don't want to put down. So I get to pick. And they have zero Pokemon in their hand. So that's not good. I was always to have a Pokepuff. Um... Let's see, I discarded a Hex, a Lysander, and a Sycamore. Um, I'll probably get back a Hex, just because I don't want them to be able to seam up incredibly early. And then, um, and then I'll just pass my turn, I guess. They've got the Enhanced Hammer, so they're going to get rid of my DCE. Um, but I can rush in next turn. I'll probably just Sycamore away my hand again. Which I guess is a waste of a VS Seeker. Probably a misplay, but... So now I've got two of my four DCEs in this card, and it's only turn one. Okay, so it's the it's the camera up deck that I that I played last video, essentially. So it's just energy acceleration, really good. We're gonna see a blaze ball for seventy, I think. Bursting balloon two doesn't really matter if I can get a DC on the shaman, which I probably will. Okay, so I will evolve into Zoroark. I'm going to place a Silent Lab just to counter his Stadium and also so that he can't do his Flash Fire ability. Like I said, Silent Lab is like a huge staple in this deck to make sure that they can't do like anything, essentially. Okay, cool. So I got a DCE. I'm going to um, all uh, Ultra Ball away a... Uh, Sycamore and an N. So I can get out a um I'll get out another Zoroa. And I try and get an EV out next turn. 
so I can start hitting for that weakness. It's like super crucial that I can do that. Okay, so I can get rid of the damage on this guy. I'll uh, trainer's mail. Hopefully I can get a float stone. Float stone or an N. N's good. Okay, I'll scare turn. I'll bring up, uh, I'll just bring up the Savetal because it's got a lot of HP. And then I can uh, Fury Belt it and then DCE onto the uh, other guy. And then, uh, yeah, he's probably going to get another Scorched Earth off of this, so I'll probably set up next turn. So uh, this, uh, which I mean, I explained it in the last video, but for those of you that haven't seen this, the, uh, the Blaze Ball attack is kind of like Keldeo's attack. So it does 50 plus 20 for each fire energy. And then uh, the uh, the Numel and the uh, um, Camera Upt for Team Magmas do um, do like a really good amount of damage. So I'm going to place a Fighting Fury Belt, which adds uh, 10 HP and does uh, 40 or forty HP and then 10 more damage. Excuse me. And then, um, let's see. Okay, so he kept the Silent Lab out. So I think what I'll do is I will... Put in. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Well, he got a fresh hand of seven off of that sycamore. So let's see if he has anything in his hand. Darn, no more Pokemon. Pokey Puff is failing me. Okay, um. Let's see. If he gets another fire on, he'll be doing 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Uh, 110, 90, yeah, that'll be a knockout. Um, so I'll put a DC under this guy, and then I'll just end. I just saw that he had that Pokemon Center lady in his hand, I definitely don't want that. And I'll, uh, place down the Eevee. I'll, uh, probably Ultra Ball and get out another Zoroark. I'll get rid of the Jolteon since it's completely irrelevant at this point. And then a uh, Dark Energy. Evolve into this Zoroark. Let's see, 3, 6, 7. So I could be hitting for 140 next turn with the Vaporeon. So I think what I'll do is I'll just end my turn. He probably gets, um, I mean, I'm guessing that he's going to end up placing another Scorched Earth down here in the next turn or two. So what Scorched Earth does is it lets you discard a Fire Energy and draw for two, which is really good draw power. Um, okay, so he just got rid of two Pokemon Center Ladies to get that camera up, which I'll show you once he evolves it. So it does, um, once before your attack, you may attach a um, fire or fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, and then Flame Ball is 60, and move a basic energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So it's just crazy acceleration, and then with the, uh, with the Flash Fire ability and the Blaze Ball, um, it just does tons of damage, and it, it, it's really efficient too. So, and I, like I said, I faced this in the last video that I did, except it was an expanded version, and I ended up losing. So, I mean, maybe this is better than than what I think it is. It just seems kind of like a roguish deck. Like, I'd rather... I think Volcanion would be better in Standard, personally, but... And then you've got all those hammers, too. You can do Crushing Hammer and all that stuff. Yeah, like I said, he's going to knock me out this turn. Oh, wait, never mind, because the Fury Belt. I thought, he, I thought he could. I guess he could, can't. Um, I think just for the sake of showing you guys what this Vaporeon can really do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to discard this third DCE, which is probably a bad idea. Like, I wouldn't actually advise that doing that in a tournament setting whatsoever, but I need to get this Vaporeon out to hit for weakness. So I'm going to stand in, which this is actually, like, incredibly helpful, being able to do this. Because I'm getting rid of his energy, and he doesn't have a way to get him back because there's no blacksmith. Which what blacksmith does is it's a supporter, 
that allows you to get two fire energy and attach them directly onto your uh, onto one of your fire type Pokemon. Okay, cool. So I got another Zoro and an energy. So I hit for weakness. I'm getting two prizes. So it's looking pretty bad for him, even if uh, even if he can get his energy up, because he only has two two cards in hand. So my guess is that. Yeah, so he's, see, he's only got two energy, and then that's attack, so he's going to do 60. Uh, and then that does, Giovanni's probably going to do 70, 80. Oh, okay, so he's going to draw, instead of doing the extra damage. <clears throat> Is he going to play one puzzle or two? I don't know. Okay, so he's going to hit me for 60, but then I'm going to end up hitting him for weakness on the return. So... I mean, it's, it's a benefit for me. So I'm going to place this guy. Uh, energy into this Zoro arc. And then I'm going to do a Mind Jack for 30, 60, 70, 140. So that, that Vaporeon is, is doing work, man. It's, it's helping me a lot. I'm probably going to end up winning this game just because of it. Which he has, he doesn't have any camera ups in play yet, so he might have one in hand, but that's that's just going to help him accelerate a little bit more energy. But the flash fire uh, ability, once during your turn, you may move a fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon, doesn't work, which is really really bad for him. So I'm just going to keep mind jacking essentially and just hit for weakness and get the game. So that's that's I mean this is a really simple deck. It's really really simple. But it's really effective once you get it going. Uh, <clears throat> so, so hitting for weakness on fire type Pokemon and hitting for weakness on color type Pokemon, regardless, is really really good. Okay, so I've got a second energy. So I've already got a second Zoroark loaded up, ready to go to kill that um, Flareon. And I've got a VS Seeker for um, just in case he changes stadiums, I can get a hex or something out. <clears throat> So really all I need to do is just, I mean, even if he knocks out my Aveltal, like I'm not I'm not really even too worried about that. So I got a float stone off the prizes. So float stone lets me get free retreat with the ability. So I, I can stand in as an ability and then I can retreat for free with float stone. Since standing in is an ability, it doesn't count as actually retreating since I'm using it as an ability, which is pretty cool. So what Keldeo can do back in the day was a water type that pretty much had the exact same ability. And that's used in Expanded. I, I showed that in my other video that I that I made last week. So um, so pretty much I, I've got game, um, unless he can pull off something amazing, which I doubt he can. So I'm cool with getting that knockout. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm just going to bring this guy up and then mind jack for the win. So, I mean, I don't know why he, he just like didn't even try. Oh, wait, yeah, because he doesn't have a bench. Okay, gotcha. Duh. Took me a second. So he's trying to trying to trying to outplay me. So he'd see me for 90 if he's trying to get a like, dual puzzle or something. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. So he can hit me for... Oh, okay, there we go. See, that'll hit me for 100, so that'll knock me out. Okay. What I'm gonna do? So I've got two two Zoroarks in the discard. I think what I'll do, just so I can try and up my chances, is I will I will Sycamore. 
Even though I only have ten cards left, I know I can. I know I can get a uh, another Zoroark. I can try at least. Get an N for next turn. Uh, just escape rope into this Zora that doesn't have anything on it. So I can just have him knock that out instead. Um, I'll place the Eevee down just so that I can just stall, I guess. Unless he has the uh, Seeker and Lysander in hand. I mean, I'm not really sure how this game's gonna go. Put the Zoro up with a float stone. What I could do try and energy accelerate with this guy. So I will retreat. Then I'm gonna end. Because I can't do anything with two silent labs when I already have a silent lab out. Okay, so I'll just oblivion wing, try and get this guy loaded up, and then I'll uh I'll try and retreat next turn. Um it's gonna know that I'm trying to load it up, but I don't, I don't really care. I mean, this is just a game for fun. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna play this competitively, personally. I mean, I think I think the the weakness, the water weakness, is kind of tough because now he's trying to have to make this play on the MVP, essentially, where you know there could be a lot of situations where that doesn't actually happen. So he's gonna get another dude down. I've only got three cards left in my deck, and two of them are Zoroarks, so the chances of me knocking this Flareon out are incredibly high. Incredibly high. Like, considering, one, the fact that he's got a bunch of energy on him, but also the fact that I'm gonna end up getting a Zoroark next turn anyway. So that's gonna be... I feel like I'd rather do the, the Aveltal play though. I mean, I can definitely knock it out with the Aveltal next turn. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna do that play. That'll be that'll be easier. So I'll do, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Twenty, maybe? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I don't think I can actually knock him out. Yes, I did. Woo! Okay, that was a close one. But I won. So that was cool. Um, okay, let's do uh, let's do another one. That was, I feel kind of good that I actually beat that deck. Because I lost to it last time. Uh, come on. Okay, let's play uh, one more game, and then I gotta get to bed. Um, okay, we're going against Novoa 1991. He's got a Pikachu coin. I lost the coin flip. Interested to see. I, li I like those sleeves, but I'm always interested to see like what people play because 
sometimes they're like really obvious but sometimes they're not so here's probably what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna do DC and pass or DC and Sycamore and then see what I get okay cool so we're playing the Rayquaza deck this is a good this is a good test for me to see if uh, it'll do well hitting for weakness which I think um, I don't know why he's playing psychic energy maybe so that he can get a Hoopa attacking or something Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, DCE and then I'll uh, I'll just sick them more. I'm gonna turn one shenanigans. Okay, so we got this guy. I'll uh, trainer's mail. Four. Okay, we've got we've got to be a seeker. So I don't need that. So Ultra Ball. Um, I don't want to get rid of the Jolteon. So I feel like I want to just uh, I'll be a Seeker to get to get back a supporter so I can Ultra Ball it away. I know that looks like a waste of a VS Seeker, but I just I really need to make sure that I can get everything out. Okay, so I'll get out a. Okay, so one Eevee's prized. Uh, one Eevee. Two Ultra, or one Ultra Ball. One Trainer's Nail. No, I think he's a Trainer's Nail. One Eevee, one Ultra Ball. One DCE, no, zero DCE. One Fury Belt. Um, so that's just three of the prizes. So that's not too bad. Make sure I actually get something out. Okay, so we'll get an Eevee out. And then we'll set up. Hopefully we can get a Silent Lab down. Silent Lab destroys this deck if they can't get a Skyfield out turn one. Okay, cool. So, Floatstone. Let's use this Pokepuff, see if they've got anything in hand. Yeah, they got the Shaman in hand. So now you can't use that, which is good. And then I'll retreat into Fright Knight so that he, if he wants to, use his uh, Pokemon tools, which are allow him to evolve, that he can't do that. So I've got Vaporeon and Jolteon in hand, and a Lysander, and a DCE. So... That's pretty good. Yeah, so I've got a DCE just in case because he had the crushing hammer. So that does 10, which is really nothing. Um, so I'll DCE this guy, electric effect this guy. Um, and I feel like I want to save that Lysander. Yeah, because he's just going to do 10, unless he draws into a Lysander. So, I kind of hope I can draw into something that allows me to attack. Oh, it's a Mega Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo and Rayquaza. That's interesting. Maybe... My guess is he's got like a sycamore or something in hand. I probably should have looked at the rest of his hand. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, you know what? I've got two of them. I'll, I'll bring up the shaman. And I'll just pass. Because even if he tries to evolve with the Mega Mewtwo with um, a Veltal active, it'll end his turn. Which is good. Because then I can get something more set up, I guess. Maybe he's just going to pass. No, he'll probably retreat and pass. Another burn, which does like nothing, but the damage the damage change me too is really good. So what it does is switch all damage counters on this Pokemon with the those on your opponent's 
active Pokemon. So essentially there's a whole bunch of damage on this guy and you can just swap it out. Uh... I'm gonna play an escape rope which is kind of like a Lysander except for it's better. Because then I can force switch into this guy with escape rope and then retreat back into him. All in my turn. So it's pretty much a game of just me trying to make sure that he doesn't get loaded up, which already getting that first Pucky Puff was really crucial. Yeah, that DCE ditch was pretty crucial too. Yeah, I'm just gonna sick him more because I've already got, um, I've already got the Jolteon out. Okay, so this guy. Float stone onto him. Uh, trainer's mail. For a silent lab. And a uh, ultra ball away. The uh, hex and then the belt all. So we can get out another shaman. Just to draw into stuff. Um, so we can draw into a Zoroark. It would be awesome. So I'm going to Shaman, set up for four. Oh no! Okay. Um, I guess I'll just end next turn. That was like really bad. Um, I'm definitely going to sign out loud and make sure he can't do anything, and I'll pass. Then I can end next turn, which isn't very good, but it's better than nothing. Hey, there we go. We got a Zorark. And now I'm just going to end. Even though I know he has one card in his hand, I have to do it, because there's nothing else I can do. Okay, cool. So I've got the DCE, and another N. So I'll um, yeah, I'll just Ultra Ball away, a Sycamore and an N to get out of second to work. I really need a Lysander or the Seeker for a Lysander right now. If I can get rid of that. Um, I can get rid of that that Rayquaza or a Shaman, like that's that's really crucial. Um, yeah, because he's probably gonna get this guy's probably gonna get knocked out. Um, so let's do three, six, seven. So I'll do seventy onto him, but then he can damage change. Um, I think I'd rather try and snipe the Shaman and just draw into it. Um, he might have another enhanced hammer though. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go for it. Uh, okay. Fury Bolt onto a Shaman. Just cause. And I'll, uh, Pitch Flex Spear onto a Shaman. Just so I can try and snipe it. Cause I mean, he's gonna need to get a, a, um, Dimension Valley and something else out. You might actually end up evolving and not know what this ability does. Oh, wait, wait, because I've got Silent Lab, so technically he can evolve if he wants to. And it should be okay. So it won't end his turn. Psyching Infinity, 30 times the amount of... So it was 30, 10 plus 30 times the amount of Psychic Energy on both active Pokemon. So it's going to do 3, 6, 7. So that's a perfect knockout. Which sucks. So we'll put up Zoroark with a float stone. See what I draw into. Nice. Like the chances that I would draw into a DC are like really, really slim. So let's do 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 
13 and 6 is 190. So that wouldn't be a knockout. Ooh, wait, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that wouldn't be a knockout. Um, shoot. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'll just retreat and sky return. So I've got the DCE in hand, and then I can, either, even if he knocks out like a Shaman or something, I can still respond. So. Let's see, how many VS Seekers have I used? Only one. That's good. So I only use one VS Seeker, which is awesome. So I can have a good response for when he brings up his Mega Rayquaza. He's probably going to either manually retreat or escape rope or something. Switch, yeah. Some kind of switch card. So you can do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 150 to me. Probably do something with the Shaman. But he used Skyla, so I, like, I don't know why. Ooh. So he gets one prize, and then next turn I get two. So, you know, and he's already got damage on all of his other stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so I can actually just do, like, all this stuff and then just shaming for six, which is pretty cool. Oh no, but I've only got three cards left in my deck. I don't really care. The joy of Skyfield. I'm going to end myself next turn. Or I'm going to Ultra Ball for a Zoroark first. Skyla for what? Or you know what? I could I could potentially Lysander up the Shaman for another two prizes. But it's pretty slow going. Like if he's not gonna Lysander up my Shamans, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. I don't know if he plays Shrine of Memories. That'd be interesting to see if he plays Shrine of Memories. But, okay, cool. So I've got three VS Seekers in my hand. What to do, what to do. Okay, so I've only got two Dark left in my deck. Um, I definitely think Inning is probably the best thing to do right now. Um... Because all my Zoroarks are in my discard, or in my prizes. Um, it's Pokey Puff. Get rid of that Shaman. Put it on your bench. Uh, yeah, all of you Seeker for an end. Just pray that I can get the energy. Okay, cool. So I've got two energy, so I should be able to stay alive long enough. Yeah, I'm going to be a seeker for a Lysander. Just so that I can have that backup, and then I'll pass. So he'll do 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, which won't knock me out, unless he's got a Lysander. 
If he's got a Lysander, I think that's pretty much game. But I've got a Lysander in hand, and he knows it. So he's probably going to try and disrupt my hand if he can. These are some pretty good games that I'm playing. I'm, I am, I'm pretty happy with the way that this, these are going. Okay, cool. Mega Turbo, so he's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 220. Okay, cool. So, I don't have any backup for this game. Um, is the only backup that I have is Moonless Madness. Um, yeah, I'll, I mean, he can retreat probably with anything. I'll Lysander up this guy. I mean, he's, he's going to end up decking me out, so. GG, bra. Unless I can, like, stand in and retreat or something, which he can't. So, this would have been a better match if I would have known what the heck he was playing, but since I didn't know he was playing Mega Mewtwo and Rayquaza, um, he really loaded that Mewtwo up, and it's still getting loaded up. So, he Mega Turboed and then attached. So, that's GG. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't play a better game, you guys, but, I mean, I was expecting this to be straight Rayquaza, and that the Psychic was Hoopa, so... But I did manage to get the, the electric guy out, and I destroyed his Rayquaza turn one. So so it wasn't all bad. Um, I'm going to try and keep making these videos for you guys. Um, I'm going to try and come up with some new deck lists and new deck ideas. Um, hopefully, I'm going to try and build a Volcanion deck. Nobody wants to trade them online. Um, so I'm going to try and talk to people that I know to see if maybe I can get some Volcanions. Um, and I've got packs. So, I mean, if you guys want to trade for packs, I've got, uh, I've got plenty of packs. So, um... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.